What is going on everyone? It is time to take a look at the neighborhoods of Atlanta. One of the most common questions people ask when they're relocating is what are the best and what are the worst neighborhoods of whatever town they're moving to. And that's why I make these neighborhood videos. Now, if you're a local, you might call these neighborhoods something different than their actual name. It happens a lot. A lot of cities, the locals have certain names for certain areas, and they never realize that there's actually a true neighborhood name. I grew up in a place in Redondo Beach, California, known as South Redondo. I never knew that my actual neighborhood was called Clifton until I saw it on a map. Hams in Detroit. Detroit, they don't go by neighborhoods. They go by cross streets. In L.A., they have something similar. I grew up also think there was just South Central L.A. Little did I know there's like 20 neighborhoods in there. But if you're an outsider and you want to Google this is the best way to find what I'm talking about. So that's why I use the proper neighborhood names. It's also the best way to look up stats for them. That being said, let's get going. Here's my top 10 worst neighborhoods in Atlanta. Number 10, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a small neighborhood in Atlanta of about 3,000 residents, and this neighborhood would fall under the category of dangerous. They named it Pittsburgh because of the industrial buildings. People thought it looked like the Steel City, so that's why it got the name Pittsburgh. It's too bad this is so dangerous. This area was once, and to some extent still, filled with good, hard-working, blue-collar families. Here's a fun fact. The crime rate in Pittsburgh is 248% higher than the national average. Number 9. Mechanicsville. Mechanicsville has no mechanic shops and really never did, but they do have a serious amount of auto thefts, ironically. This neighborhood got its name from the profession of the original residents. This was once an area that rail mechanics had settled pre-Civil War, so they named it after them. Good thing they haven't decided to rename it after its current residents' profession. It might be called Dope Slingerville. Here's a fun fact. The overall crime rate in Mechanicsville is 138% higher than the national average. Number 8. Downtown. Crime is not the only reason a neighborhood is bad. Being overpriced is another way of looking at it. Downtown Atlanta is one of those places. The living expenses are outrageous, and the typical rent is about $1,200, where the rest of Georgia is about $800. Compared to other major cities, this is cheap, but for Atlanta, it's pricey. Owning a home in downtown Atlanta is the way to go. Median home price is about 31% lower than the national average, so that it just makes more sense. Here's a fun fact. The median rent asked in downtown Atlanta is 14% higher than the national average. Yeah, makes sense to own there if you can pull it off. Number 7. West End. The West End neighborhood of Atlanta is an older neighborhood plagued by crime, unemployment, and apparently lack of gardeners. They have some of the worst school test scores in the city. Not sure if they could really be blamed for that, seeing that they have no schools in the neighborhood. This place is another one that's really big on theft and burglary and stuff like that. Here's a fun fact. Only 75% of the residents in West End have completed high school. Number 6. Grove Park. Grove Park was named in honor of a drug dealer. Sure, he was a doctor and he was a pharmaceutical businessman, but still, he sold drugs. Grove Park was named after Dr. Edwin Wiley Grove, president of Grove Park Development Company. He was a pharmaceutical company owner as well, like I said. This place has a bunch of residents out of work and a bunch of crimes going on. This place has a serious shoplifting problem. The unemployment rate is about 10%. That's 132% higher than the national average. Now, I'm sure that would improve greatly if shoplifting was ever considered a job, but right now, a lot of people are out of work. Here's a fun fact. The average income per resident in Grove Park is 46% lower than the national average. I don't know what you make at shoplifting, but I don't know if that would help the stat or not. Number 5. Oakland City. Oakland City, like Oakland, California, is no stranger to crime. Unlike Oakland, California, not as many people are getting killed. Theft and burglary seem to be the crime of choice here. If you move here, get a security system. I have one, and I live in Oregon. This place, you need one. I got mine from Amazon. I'll, I'll leave a link in case you want to get one that you monitor yourself. It's a must in Oakland City. Here's a fun fact. The overall crime rate in Oakland City is 244% higher than the national average. Go Oakland City. Number 4. Cascade Heights. That sounds so refreshing. It makes me think of having a beer on a mountain with a girl that looks like this. Like you're at a mountain lodge or something. Too bad that's not the kind of thing that really goes on here. This neighborhood got an area vibe score of 44. 
44 is not a good number, unless, of course, it's followed by the letter D and you're at Victoria's Secrets. Now, a lot of you familiar with Cascade Heights and Atlanta are going, why is this on here? That's a really nice neighborhood. It is. But it's not just crime that makes a neighborhood kind of hard to live in. The price, cost of living and housing in Cascade Heights are ridiculous. And then the amenities, like businesses, stores and stuff, there are none in there. You have to go out of the neighborhood to buy things, to get some, you know, living supplies, whatever you need. You have to leave the area. That's how it got on the list. Here's a fun fact. The unemployment rate in Cascade Heights is 116% higher than the national average. Number three, Adamsville. In case you're thinking about moving to Atlanta, here's a piece of advice. Stay clear of Adamsville. You'll hear things like, it's an up-and-coming neighborhood, the rent here is unbeatable, it's close to downtown. These are all things rental agents and apartment websites say about the area. It's all BS. The rent, well, the rent is true. Yeah, it's really low rent, but there's a reason rent is low. Nobody wants to live here. Area Vibe scored it a 40. A 40. Here's a fun fact. The overall crime rate in Adamsville is 242% higher than the national average. Number two, Adair Park. This is the second worst neighborhood in Atlanta. This neighborhood is one of the most dangerous for both you and your possessions. And it's a little too expensive for the type of neighborhood it is. This is the type of place an anti-gun person would take a gun on a visit if they felt a need to visit Adair Park. Here's some fun facts. In Adair Park, you have a 1 and 11 chance of becoming the victim of any crime. Not just violent crime, any crime. The overall crime rate in Adair Park is 245% higher than the national average. You have to be trying to get an average like that. Number one, Bankhead. Bankhead is really bad. Apartment complexes are not maintained. Windows in some of the houses are smashed and boarded up. Cars are on blocks in front of houses for months at a time. The place looks more like a Mad Max movie than a neighborhood in the great state of Georgia. So it's no wonder that you can get a house here on the cheap. Nobody wants to live here. Home prices are usually valued in between forty and $60,000. All of them have boarded up windows, so glass is optional, and no trespassing signs on them. So... You know, normally you're used to looking at real estate signs. These places, you get to see some no trespassing signs first. Here's some fun facts about Bankhead. The city of Atlanta is trying to rebuild Bankhead by planning some new buildings and new houses and stores. Good luck on that one. Here's another fun fact. In Bankhead, you have a 1 in 13 chance of becoming a victim of a violent crime. Fun times in Bankhead. All right, so that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it didn't rub too many people the wrong way. There's a... Seems to be a tendency of that happening when I do a worst of neighborhood video. But oh well, that's life. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment. And this is your first time here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Everybody have a good day. Be nice to each other.